Hello everybody, Billy here, and welcome to my very first sketchbook tour. So I have a lot of these, actually, but I recently finished this one. I've had it for about two years, about two years now. Yeah, don't ask me the exact date. I don't know it. But I thought it could be fun for us to do my very first sketchbook tour. Um, I have a lot of things in this, and I don't know if I'm going to talk a lot about every single one of them, but I thought it could be very fun for us to go through them together. So, here we go! So, here we are. We've got the front of a sketchbook just has some stickers. These were my first stickers that I ever made, um, even though I put them on recently. Kind of, sort of, actually. Uh, nothing on the back. The sketchbook that I like to tend to use is the Crescent sketchbook. I just like the paper. The paper is thick, it doesn't bleed through, and I tend to use a lot of Copic markers and um, Sharpies and whatnot of the such. So, you know, I have to have something that's going to hold it. Um, we have a Nosuke, these are just Pokemon. I didn't know where to put the rest of them. I stuck them all on my water bottle and then I was like, well, I gotta use the rest of them. Here we are. Uh, the first page, I don't know why I haven't thrown this out, but it's just a little sticky note that had a pin to register for online classes, I think, during college. Um, the very first page must have been whenever I got into Good Omens. And I believe this was just like a behind the scenes picture of David Tennant or something um, that I took and I was like, ooh, let's take that but make it Crowley. <laughs> it was really fun. Um, I, I'm sure a lot of these were either testing for markers and testing out like my hatch line shading and things like that. Fun times, fun times. Um, here's our, our marker test. Every artist has them. You know it, you love it, we live for it. And I remember getting some skin tones at some point right in here that I had to test out, obviously, because I didn't know what color they were. <laughs> um, we have Rose Tyler, we have Italy, uh, cringe culture is dead, don't at me. I believe some Persona 5 fan art, this must have been after I finished Persona. I love Haru. Haru is a absolute doll. Absolute doll, what a sweetheart. What an actual sweetie. Um, Jeremy in Italy, again, Queen Trolls was dead. My sister-in-law with her husband. A lot more good omens. Um, you're gonna see a lot of fan art in this. And if I remember correctly over here on the right, this was Inktober year... I wish I could tell you. I don't honestly remember, but I know for a fact it was like two years ago, right? So this must have been Inktober from about two years ago. I tend to do my Inktober every year a little bit different. And I remember this year wanting to do, you know, all pen and just a little bit of, I had some like gold shiny pen and it's hard to kind of see, you'll see it in other pictures a little bit better. Um, some other details. Hi, hi Puff, Yami Yumi, because I feel like they get more, they need more love. It's really interesting to see, and then we have Don't Starve. It's really interesting to see the progression of my style. So, if I remember correctly, since this sketchbook is within two years, you kind of see me go from, you know, the older anime looking eyes, um, but still pretty cartoony bodies and hairstyles. This is Final Fantasy VII, Zack and Aerith, because my heart, oh, my heart. Um, more Germany and Italy, cringe culture is dead, Cloud and Tifa, and look at these poor pages are so smudged. Um, Cloud and Tifa because I like them more because I like Aerith and Zack. Uh, let's see. Jet Set Radio! That's right! Um, I was replaying Jet Set Radio with a good friend, Angie, from college. Man, what a good, good game. If you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. 10 out of 10. Just a bop. The music in it is a bop. Um, more Persona. Uh, we have Spyro. I was just trying to fill the days. I think you can kind of tell at a certain point, okay, maybe not yet, um, Over the Garden Wall, another cartoon, highly recommend, highly recommend. Ooh, every fall I find myself re-watching this. Um, and I remember it being a pain coloring all this black. Oh my goodness. On the right here we have Skyward Sword Zelda. Uh, it's my favorite Zelda series. I love them to death. This piece was really fun to do and I remember tracing it digitally and then I never like finished or uploaded it or something so I might have the file somewhere who knows um I also thought it was kind of clever for me he 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 to do them on legend because they're the start of the legend so anyways Breath of the Wild except when the trailer came out when will we get it probably next year 
um, wanted to take my hand at drawing Peach and Daisy. Some uh, Conan and Pain from Naruto because I had to, I don't know, I felt like I needed to um, shout out my old, you know, my old stuff, my old animes. Um, another kind of self-indulgent, I wanted to try to practice drawing cats a little bit better and I used to love warrior cats. Shout out if you know the series I'm talking about. Um, really goofy, really fun. I think this was about um, book two, or like not book two, but season two, um, when they're going to the lakes or whatever. I was really in the DuckTail as well, uh, the, the newer one, and I really loved Scrooge and Goldie. There's something about like the older generation um, that I tend to really love and I really like to go for and stuff like that, so. That was really fun to do. Um, more cringe culture that is dead, more good omens. You could tell what I was really into at the time. Um, Fruits baskets, always a shout out pleasure because that was like, you know, my first manga that I really read and another one of those beginner animes that I just loved, 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 loved. Um, I also believe Fire Emblem came out around this time. So I went Blue Lions, I went Dimitri, I love, Love Dimitri, what a man. If you haven't played his route, please do. And I think, okay, so what is that, day 25? I didn't finish. I remember sketching out the rest of these, but like I never went back to finish them. And then I gave up because this is day 28, and I imagine I literally wrote out day 29, and then I think I wrote a notes instead for class or something like that. So it's fine. Um, kind of empty doodle because I think I was supposed to use this again for Inktober that I didn't. Um, but here's a silly little, oh, we were cracking jokes about how like uh, Angie and I hadn't watched Harry Potter and both of our uh, boyfriends at the time were like, oh, watch Harry Potter, you gotta watch it. And we were like, no. It's kind of funny. Um, also in Smash, <laughs> again, you can kind of see like what's coming out during the time, but during Smash, Terry Bogard had dropped, and I loved him. What a hottie. What a hottie McTotty. Okay, I had to draw him. I learned how to play. I've never seen King of Fighters or heard of that fighting game in my life. But I said, oh man, am I going to learn. Um, some more friend drawings, real life. Farmer Rick, little doodle that he did. Um, some more friend drawings. Reno and Rude from Final Fantasy VII because I love them. Uh, the Turks were really awesome and I love them a lot. So now, okay, wait, hold on. Now I see at what point did we swap over to full on round eyes. So we had this sketch where you can tell that my eyes are still not connected. And at some point, I don't really see it here. Maybe in the sketches, Terry's the first one where I start doing like full on round circular eyes, right? Like I'm connecting the lines. There's no longer that anime, just the top lid. Um, it is now a full circle. <laughs> we have come full circle. Uh, um, the name is escaping me. Cells at work. Yeah, cells at work. Uh, really awesome, cute anime. I probably really just remembered like, uh, I saw them and I went, you mean Italy? F -f 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 what? Anyways. Cute. Some Oron High School Host Club sketches that are never, never got completed, never got done. Um, I loved Mori no Zuka Senpai, he was my favorite. We see some Sailor Moon sketches over here on the right that I also did not finish. So this was when I really started getting into Sailor Moon. Um, I have never watched it, I never grew up with it. I knew of it because like, it's one of those things like, oh, you could not not know about it. But I finally sat down and started watching all of the anime, um, and I really, really loved it. So now we're getting into Inktober of last year, I believe, or it might have been the year before at this point. No, I'm pretty sure it was last year. So what I did for Inktober last year is actually um, I would group everything together. So I took like one, two, three, four, five days, and then I grouped it all and just did a tiny little doodle per day. And I found myself enjoying that more, and then I would do one big piece for another day. Um, I wish I wrote down what the, the prompt was for this, but it's okay. So another one, you know, we've got throw, hope, teeth, wrote in all of this. Um, you can see other things that I'm into, a lot of fan art, that's okay. Um, 
another big piece on the right. I do kind of wonder if I should like digitize this one, make it bigger. I don't know. I like how this one turned out a lot. Uh, use a lot of hash lines, use a lot of um, dynamic kind of poses more so than my stagnant. Stand up straight. It's kind of interesting. More little doodles. Oh, that's right. And then I, I just realized. So this Inktober, the first one, right, I was doing like lines. I was hash lining, whatever. This one, at least for the doodles, I was doing gray marker. And then when it came time for the bigger ones that I wanted to do, I did my hash lines. Which um, was kind of nice. It was kind of like a different, kind of different. It was nice. Some sleepy Skyward Sword. We got um, more Auron. I think I was rewatching the show with a friend at the time. And then, oh, hot diggity dog, I got in the Ace Attorney. And again, another thing, like, I'm just late getting to the ball game with. I don't know. I played the game when it was on, um, the trilogy came on to Switch, right? And it was so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was literally so good. Uh, fell in love with Phoenix, fell in love with Miles, tried to figure out how I wanted to draw them in my style. Um, I think this was just kind of like in the middle of Inktober or something, like I just drew them out anyways. Um, some more over the garden, some more Oron, some pretty shoes. I like how those shoes turned out. Shoe, those are pretty shoes. More Sailor Moon. You can tell um, nowadays, like two years later, I really love Venus. I mean, Usagi's still like my top fave, but um, I read Sailor V and I really love how that one is. So she's got a soft spot in my heart. Um, some doodles that I think my friend did. My bestie Kinsey, shout out. Uh, some more right worth Narumitsu doodles, however the heck you want to word it. Um, I think this was just something sketchy I just wanted to get out. Tokyo Mew Mew, which now the <laughs> now the remake is out and I really need to... Uh, is it remake? Remaster? Redone? The new season? I don't know. Either way, I've watched one episode. I really need to get back into it um, because I love it. Uh, this is a blank page. Don't look at it. It's got some smudge on it, which is kind of something, right? Yakuza. I played Yakuza 0. I played a little bit of Yakuza Kiwami, I believe is the right one. Whichever one follows 0, because I was trying to go like in the correct timeline of years. And Majima, bruh, I fell in love with Majima. I wanted to doodle him a couple times, sketch him out, and I only apparently did three doodles, so that's fine. Um, let's see, we got Fall Guys over here. I remember getting a really cute outfit in Fall Guys, and I still have it to this day. Um, but I drew myself out over on here, and then I digitized it, and I can think it's another one of those things. Like, I just didn't finish. Y'all, I did not finish that one. Um, Diona, I started playing Genshin Impact. Wow, we surprisingly. Not when it came out, but recently. And <laughs> I just had to draw her. She was a kitty cat. Yuffie! That is right, Yuffie. The trailer for her for her chapter in the Final Fantasy VII remake came out or dropped. I don't know if it, it was tra it was either the trailer or the game itself came out. I was so excited because Yuffie is like my top girl in Final Fantasy VII. Like I love her so 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 much, and I was excited to see her um, in that game so early, so much earlier than what it is um, in the original game. But I was excited nonetheless, and I wanted to draw her out. Ooh, okay, and then we got into shiny pins. So you can see it better when I move my sketchbook a little bit, but I wanted to try doing colored line art um, for like just the hair and some small details. I think I was doing it digitally. I was trying to figure out how to do it traditionally. And so I dabbled a little bit. I don't really like how you can only see the shine there. Um, I much would rather it be always there, but just a little stagnant. I had a Kerbal because my husband kept bugging me to play Kerbal, or not to play it, to draw it. I said, fine, take it. Uh, some more little sketchy doodles, Kazuha on the right. I wanted to see what Miku looked like in my style and then I probably never finished it. But you know what, that's okay. Sometimes you just need to sketch stuff out, right? Like you don't need to sketch to make it a finished piece of work. I fully believe that sometimes you just wanna sketch some really random little silly stuff. Random cats, random arms, random whispers, me screaming about Zelda. <laughs> Eric thinking that I've already played this level. It's fine. 
Um, Delta Rune. I don't remember. I guess I got this, or I play. I drew this when it came out. I don't know if it was chapter one or chapter two. This must have been chapter two. Never mind. Disregard that because um, Ralsei's full form is out. This was me trying to figure out how I wanted to do it. I didn't like how this one turned out. I didn't like having a snout. Um, that's kind of how I draw My Little Pony. Was not vibing with it with this one. See, I even said, ee, nasty. I like this one a lot better. Um, the shape was a lot cleaner. For Chris, for about, I was about to say Frisk. No, really, that's wrong. For Chris, I was just trying to figure out. Like, Y'all, this is just me. A lot of these things are just like, how would I draw them in my style? Wow, we. The same with Susie. How would I draw Susie in my style? Wow, we. Um, Kujo Sara, I think, was a request. I don't like Kujo Sara a lot, so I'm unsure why I really drew her. I think she might have been a request from somebody. Uh, sometimes I take Instagram requests and we'll doodle them out. Here's Stella from um, Spirit Fair. Love that game. Really good game. <laughs> Highly recommend. 10 out of 10 if you haven't played it. Oh my gosh, that's a good it's a cry. It makes me cry. Uh, more Sailor Moon. Oh, no, you know what? Okay, you know what it is? This is how bad I am. I didn't mark it. Okay, I'm a big fat liar in the beginning. I'm so sorry. The biggest fattest of liars I am. I apologize. This is actually three Inktobers combined because this was my most recent one. I guess it was last year, actually. And that's why there's colored pens because I was using colored pens. That's what it was. That was what my, my different thing was, right? Was that, oh, I'm trying to use colored pens and everything. Um, that's what it was. Okay, makes a lot more sense. A lot more sense. Some good looking phoenix. I really wanted to draw another phoenix because I missed him. Um, more Oron, of course. I didn't realize I drew Oron as much as I did. Uh, Mob, I felt like I needed to give some love to my boy Shigio. Uh, season 3 of Mob Cycle is coming out soon, so expect some art from that, hopefully. It is a very good anime. Highly recommend. 10 out of 10. Um, definitely up there. Definitely. And you can tell I dropped off because apparently that's all I did. Yep, that's all I did. So now we're getting into, funny enough, my uh, Twitch icon. So if you didn't know, I'm going to do a little plug, but I also stream daily on Twitch. I do art. I do video games. Uh, you are more than welcome. Feel free to come by and say hello sometimes. It is always a blast. Um, this was me when I first started off, when I first started trying to develop like a theme for my Twitch channel. I knew I wanted a cat, I knew I wanted a headband because I wear headbands. And so I went through a couple different designs and I don't know if anyone has actually seen this before. But this is for my character, uh, I named her Catty, like C-A-T-T-Y. And I went through a lot trying to design her. I've got two right here that was kind of like my final form, <laughs> my final form. These were my like little sub icons, even though obviously starting off I was not affiliated, so I didn't even really need these right off the bat, but I designed them anyways because I, that was fun. We've also got Amy up here, Metal down here, because I somehow got into Sonic with Amy and Metal. I don't know, don't ask. Um, Klonoa, the trailer dropped for the PS5 and all those other consoles. They were remastering the old ones. I played Klonoa 2, I loved it. So I wanted to draw the little guy. Um, I actually haven't played it. I've already bought it. I bought the game. I played Klonoa 1 for the first time. Loved it. Didn't play number 2. And now we get into a little mini comic um, that I did of Metal and Amy. So I used to draw comics all the time um, when I first started out trying to learn how to do art, how to... Um, I used to draw comics all the time when I was first learning out when I was first starting out learning how to do art and it was one of those mediums that I really enjoyed um, and then I don't know when I dropped down from it or dropped off it or whatever but I wanted to pick it back up and I took this opportunity um, because I opened up a Kofi and I wanted to try to share stuff on that that wouldn't be seen anywhere else and I figured this would kind of be a fun start um, I also think Amy in metal is just really cute look I'm just a sucker for like robots learning how to love um so there was that and then finally last but not least is my little icon eating a cookie um oh i lied and then two more little me's <laughs> i'm a liar why twice in this video i'm so sorry 
Um, this was me trying to figure out a good style to do for the convention coming up. Or, well, it just passed. Anime Magic just passed, but... Um, yeah, that's what I was doing. And then another Amy in this last little flat because I didn't know what else to do with it. Don't ask where the bottom half went. I do not know. And so with that, it brings this sketchbook's life to a close. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun flipping through this sketchbook with me. It's, it is a, a definite big uh, trip down memory lane. I will hopefully be starting, um, I've already got a new sketchbook, but hopefully we will be doing maybe a um, welcoming page video sometime soon. I think it would be a lot of fun. I've never done one before, but hey, I'm down to try new things. Anyways, I'll catch you guys sometime later. I hope y'all have a good one. If you like this kind of video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all those little ridiculous fun YouTube things, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Toodaloo!